Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. We're now entering the month of May, so we're finally getting into spring and it is raining. It's been raining for the entire week, like three, four days. So what best way to, you know, make use of this rainy weather than to finally change out my perfume tray? And I am so excited. I I don't know if this happens to anyone else, but does anyone else get like really tired of their month of like their perfume tray for the month and like you just get really annoyed with <laughs> some of the perfumes that you have left because that's what happens with me. But finally, we're going to start in May. May's tomorrow. It's April 30th. Um so hopefully I can get this posted in time. But this is the what's left of my tray. As you can see, I've actually finished um, a few of my perfumes. Um, Ariana Grande's Ari. Oop. That one's all done. And this was the 30 mil, 30 mil bottle. That one's all finished. She was one of my favorites for the month. Like I was, I was wearing her like done. Um, a little tester I had of Coach Floral. This one was really nice, really nice uh, fruit chuli. Like, I think this was the actual definition of a fruit chuli scent. This was really, really good. Um, that pineapple mixed in with uh, some rose and that, that patchouli at the base was really nice. I liked this one. So that one was, I, I think I finished this one in like two days. Um, another empty right here. This is the My Burberry Blush. And this is the thing I hate about roller balls. Like, I could never get this little, like, this little drop out. But, whatever. This one's all finished, too. Um, so another favorite of the month was Clean Rain and Pear. If you want to check out my review for this one, when I said... I loved her. I loved the scent. Do you see? This is halfway done. This is halfway done. I wore this like for bedtime. I, this was such a nice scent, nice comforting um, and clean, like hello, clean, but really nice comforting clean scent of like pear and guava. Um, there was chocolate in this one, which I was not expecting. This was definitely my favorite for the month. And another, one of my favorites was, of course, Aura by Mugler. Loves this one. Um, I don't know if you can like kind of see, but I think I, I made a pretty good dent in this bottle. And there's like a lot of controversy with this scent and people were saying how, you know, I, I see on, <clears throat> excuse me, I've seen on Fragrantica and Perfumo how they say that, oh, um, it's too green or it's too sweet. I actually found this to be a very powdery scent. I was not expecting that. It was a very sweet, yeah, sweet, but green and powdery scent. And I really, really, really liked that. So this one's definitely a keeper. I love... I don't know if you guys can see, but I love the way the two colors look with my nails, but I'm, I'm getting distracted. <laughs> so this was another one of my favorite for the month. Um, another favorite of the month was, of course, Figue du Forêt. Excuse me. Figue du Forêt. I gotta, you know, make the, make an effort to have good pronunciation or whatever. But this was another one of my favorite. This is a long time favorite of mine. I always have it in my collection. Um, Clinique Happy, I really liked. Although, um, I, ma I made a good dent in it. I liked it enough. I think this would probably be best for those really hot days. April, we didn't have enough warm weather uh, to really wear this scent. So it didn't really stand up against um the time we had a, a quite a few chilly days so th that's okay but she she's definitely staying uh, david off's cool water was a surprise to me i liked wearing this to the gym 
This is a very good gym scent. Um, I even wore it to bed and I actually got a compliment from my husband while wearing this. All of the other ones I had, he didn't, he couldn't care for them, but funny enough, Cool Water was the one that he liked, like out of my entire collection, which is like 80 something perfumes. He said this was his favorite, imagine that. But whatever, this was a pretty solid one for the month. Um, and I think I'll definitely keep this around. Uh, it honestly didn't make much of a difference wearing it with the little lotion, but that's okay. Elizabeth Taylor, I apologize, Elizabeth Arden's Green Tea was a pretty solid one. Didn't get a chance to wear it too much, but she's staying. The one I was most disappointed in, so unfortunately and, and surprisingly, was Daisy Love, Marks Jacobs. I don't know what happened. Maybe my nose turned on me, but this, I was a little disappointed with it. Like, I, I don't know. I was just a little disappointed in it. Like, it, it's nice. Like, right now I'm smelling it, and it's really nice. It's really nice. But then, after a while, I just... It didn't really last, and I got a little bored of it. Like, that's all that I could say. It was just nice. So I don't know if it's worth keeping in my collection, or maybe I just have to play around with it a little more. And I did wear it, but... I, th I think I might just declutter this. I don't want to just have it sit here if I think it's just okay, you know? But that's it. Now we move on to new month, new day. And let's see what I've got lined up for the month of May. All right, now that we've got our tray cleaned and cleared away, we can start with our first fragrance. Um, and this one I'm so excited to try. I was able to get a mini version of this perfume. This is Chloe Nomad. Look how cute it is. Now we all know her. We all know we all love her. I haven't had the chance to own it, but now I do. And this is just a little tester bottle, so I'm excited to try her for the month of May. The next one I have is also another little mini, another little mini bottle. This is uh, Tiffany and Company. This is Tiffany. Now, I didn't purchase this. Uh, this was like a little gift from my mom. Um, and by gift, I mean she had bought herself like the full size, those little gift sets. And I was like, Mom, you're, you're going to give me that little mini one, right? And <laughs> she was she was okay with parting with this one so she let me have the little tiny one to test and I really like this one it's like a I, I smelled it it was like a citrusy and powdery scent very clean very rich girl vibes and my mom was also kind enough to give me the little lotion that came with it she didn't have use for it so she let me have that with with a little tester bottle Next fragrance I have for the month of May is a travel size of Dolce, Dolce & Gabbana's Dolce Shine. This is very, very pretty. I had just smelled it a little earlier. It's like a very beautiful white floral. Um, I've seen in some reviews that I've seen in some reviews that they say that this is a very tropical scent. There's a note of pineapple in the opening, so. I'm very excited to test this one. So we'll put that there. This one is an oldie, but a goodie, a very favorite of mine. This is Philosophy's Amazing Grace. Now I think this is the Eau de Toilette. Is this the Eau de Toilette? Yeah, this is the Eau de Toilette. Now I've had this one for a while, if you can see. I'm like halfway finished with it. Maybe a little little over and a little more than halfway finished. 
um, I, I love wearing this one. This is a very clean, very fresh and clean scent. Now, the next one I have is another favorite of mine. Um, I had gone through, I think, bottles of this one. This is Burberry Brit. I had the EDP. So I had a 50 milliliter of the EDP. Then I had a 100 milliliter backup of the EDP. My sister loved it, so I ended up giving that one to her, and I kept the EDT. This is the Eau de Toilette version. So this one has uh, accords of uh, vanilla and almond. This is so nice, so nice. And it's a lighter version of the EDP. I like to think if like the Eau de Parfum version is good for the fall, the Eau de Toilette is very good for the spring. I mean, you can wear them like any time, but this one, because of how light and sweet it is, it's very good for springtime, so can't wait to try her for May. Now, another fragrance that will add to the May rotation. This is Coach, the fragrance. This is the Eau de Toilette version of it. So this is a new bottle. I had bought this uh, maybe over the winter. I think over the winter when they were having Christmas sales. So I purchased this one, but you know, I, I knew this was going to be best for the springtime. So I saved it because patience is a virtue and I, I'm now I'm finally getting a chance to try it. And hopefully I like it as much as I liked the uh, floral version. Next one I have for my tray. This is Chloe Love Story. And this is a very, very pretty and powdery rose scent and white florals. I mean, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm a very big white floral fan. Um, this bottle is gorgeous. Don't excuse the fingerprints all over it, but it is such a beautiful bottle and it is a beautiful scent. So I can't wait to test her out. I, I've noticed that I'm slowly falling in love with like the Chloe line of uh, fragrances. I tested the little small version of uh, Chloe, the fragrance. Loved that one, so I'm keeping my eye out for the next time when I can purchase that one. Um, I've tested Nomad. I've also spritzed uh, Love Story a couple times before I really started getting a chance to rotate my fragrances. So I'm really excited to try her. Another oldie but goodie, um, really old because I'm kind of dating myself now. Uh, this is Britney Spears Curious and like excuse how like dusty this bottle is. Um, she's been sitting in my closet and I finally got a chance to reach for her again. I've loved this scent since I was in middle school. Like that's how old I am, but I love this scent and I think this is like my second bottle. Like I'm over, I'm halfway through it. And I think she was like, she's been here since the start, since the start of my whole collection. Um, probably the start of like one of my love for fragrances. I love, love, love this scent. This is a very pretty, sweet floral and tuberose dominant scent. I love this. So she is going to be used for May. And like I said, my tray is like too small, so... I'm going to have to put her to the side. Now this one is a custom scent I had um, made. This is a custom scent from Olfactory, New York City, um, that I made with my husband for my birthday. Um, very nice scent. This one has, grape, uh, I think, accords of grapefruit, uh, bergamot. There's like tonka bean in the base. It's been a while, and I've used I've used a good portion of it. I finally get a chance to use it now, and I we get to name our fragrances. So I named it Tall and Sexy. I couldn't put an and, but Tall and Sexy because this is a very good. Uh, what's the word? It's a very good unisex fragrance. I wanted to create a, a unisex scent that we could both use. So let me see if I can squeeze. That one in there. 
Okay, I, I had to rearrange some of them to make room for this last one. Um, and this one I'm very excited to try. I've heard a lot of good things about this brand. And it's, I, I should say, the things that I hear about this brand is very good, but I don't hear a lot of talk about this brand. And that is Toka. I guess they used to be pretty popular in the like early 2000s. So I don't really hear a lot about them. But this is Toka Bianca. And I loved the I loved Toka Colette. I finished that one um, months ago, and I also love Toka Stella. And there's another one, Florence. Those three were my absolute favorites, so I had to find this one. This one I picked it up at a TJ Maxx on a whim, and it was like thirty dollars. So I could not pass that up for a hundred mil bottle. So she's a she's a big one, but. I'm very excited to try this one. This is a very light citrus uh, tea scent. So she'll be getting some use for the month of May. And I think that's it. And I think that's it. That's the entire tray for the month of May. I'm so excited to try them. And like I said, stay tuned for some reviews. Um, hopefully I'll be able to get them out in time and um, stay tuned for more talk about them I'll see you next time guys oh and you know if you like this content please give me a like you know talk to me in the comments I definitely want to hear you know what we what you have to say would love to start some conversations with everyone um, you know subscribe if you if you're vibing with me I'd love to you know get some more subscribers on all right so I'll see you in my next video bye